Hey guys, my name is Lichie M. Kopozi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. So the chat today is inspired by the fact that I was sitting at home, right here at home the other day, and I was watching Vuzu TV. Now it was an insert, and you know how they usually do this. They cover an event most of the time, and at the event, they interview people at the event, and they interview artists or celebrities who they bump into. So now they bumped into this celebrity who is now very big in the GOM mainstream music scene. This is an alternative artist who is being consumed mostly and predominantly by listeners who don't live in South Africa but more so live in foreign countries. This interview was basically focusing on the fact that this artist has now made it into the mainstream in South Africa, the home country of this artist. I understand that this artist had been not consumed in South Africa for about, I think they said 17 years, which is a very long time. But when they explain what it took for them to become something that South Africa finds worthy of consuming, the explanation kind of bothered me a little bit. I kind of just, you know, I took a step back. So what this artist said was, right, they made it sound like the South African pop culture consumers don't have the intellect to consume their music. This is a mentality that is adopted by most alternative music listeners and they direct all this frustration to pop culture music lovers and make it sound like they are daft for not appreciating that music. I'm a pop music, pop culture listener. I consume pop culture. And that offended me because it made it seem like I'm being now sentenced and being made to feel sound and look stupid because I don't enjoy alternative music. It's not because I haven't tried it. It's not because I don't understand the lyrics. It's not because I don't understand the production. It is good music to the person who enjoys that type of music. I just simply don't. I was chatting about this to one of my friends and they said that it's an inferiority complex. I shouldn't let people get under my skin that way. I'm tired of using this inferiority complex chat. It's boring. This is an observation and I would address it if I feel some type of way and I feel some type of way about this one. Music in general is for the listener. You have a specific type of music that you listen to and you have your own reasons for listening to the music that you listen to. Heck, you have your own reasons for listening to music in general. You want music to make you feel a certain way and if the song, the specific song or the specific genre doesn't evoke that type of emotion from you that you desire, then you're not gonna listen to it. Doesn't mean you're stupid, it just means you're not into it. Guys, we need to be able to celebrate differing opinions. Yes, you like alternative music, I don't. You don't see pop culture music lovers coming at your face and telling you listen you're being very weird for listening to all this dark music it's actually quite satanic sis no we're not saying that it means i'm respecting you and your music taste and what music does for you so also like can i have the same courtesy please like get off my nipples what is this so yes if you want to appeal to me, give me a faster beat, all right? If you want to appeal to me, repeat some words five, six, seven times. That's because when I'm listening to pop music, I want to be entertained in that sense. Alternative music doesn't give me that. Alternative music listeners need to really get over themselves. You're not any better because you listen to pull out my incisors, give me two weeks, you won't recognize me. When I first heard those lyrics, I was like, okay, cool. Some, this, those lyrics, they resonate with their people and that's fine. Sometimes I even say that for peace because I don't want to come at them like I'm making fun of their music. So I make it known that I'm okay with the fact that they consume it as a defense mechanism. I'm defending myself because I'm afraid that these people are gonna come at me on some undermining me intellectually because I don't like the same music that they do. Let's celebrate each other's individuality, please. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at leash underscore lay. <laughs> Forgot my Twitter handle there for a second. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at just underscore leash lay. If you're wondering how you spell those, they're right here. Get to subscribing, number one, and then get to following. Until then, it's your boy Leash dipping out with some YouTube love. Mwah!